Welcome to my channel. So today I am doing part two of my skincare. I'm including this in my skincare because it sort of is. I have six containers to go through. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I do have a setting spray on my desk. It's the um, KBD one, the locket. So these are unused. Most of them, I think one is used um, because I just do one at a time. But this is the Dewy Set ABH setting spray in, I think, peach. And this smells really good. And I really like this formula. I love Dewy stuff too. So I got it in a busy. I know this area is so dirty. It's from all the makeup and everything that I've dumped out. Um, I have this ABH pineapple one. It's Dewy set. Again, I got this from Busy Beauty store. I have this one, which is the peach one mattifying setting spray I'm not sure how much I'll love this one because it is mattifying but I am excited to try it but this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh uh, Hyaluronic Acid setting spray I got that in a busy beauty box I got this from Leanna Dalton for my birthday this is an energizing facial mist and it's from Play uh, times Cobra Kai. I have the NYX Bear With Me setting spray that came in a busy. And I have this one, which I believe came from Makeup by POW. And this is the one that I will use next because I'm excited to try it. And yeah, this one. And then... I have this one, which I have used some, and I've used this brand a lot, and setting sprays from them. And this is the Apocalyptic Beauty Hot Cocoa. I like them. They just kind of melt my foundation in, you know. These are like essential oils, basically, in my opinion. It's water-ish with essential oils, and they smell really, really good, and I think that they work fine. That is my collection of setting sprays. It's a lot, I know, but I will use them and I get them in boxes and Amy uses my setting sprays all the time. So I'm pretty sure one of these are going right now because she's out. So, all right, you guys, I'm not going to pull any of this out, but these are just my sponges that I have and I have these as well which I forgot who these came from. I think it, these came from Jennifer Steps, but I'm not 100% sure. I have one on my desk that I'm using that I really like. So yeah, I'm just gonna pull them out of the bag because there's no reason to keep them in the bag. But yeah, I have one of these on my desk that I'm using that I like. And here these are my sponges. This one has been used or got dirty somehow and I don't know how because yeah I think this, yeah so like this one's been used so some of them have been used some of them have not um, but yeah all right this one is a big container and I don't even know if it is organized correctly so let's just get into it and see I have this grown alchemist anti-pollution primer so I think these are my primers pretty sure because I see my I see sherbert primer by touch and soul I love this stuff um, if you don't like um, smelling like uh, flowery scents this isn't for you but I don't notice the scent on my face just when I'm putting it on and this is such a good blur blurring primer in my opinion and yeah I have three of these this one's actually been open and used um, I had sent it to Andy does stuff and she didn't like this smell I can't reopen this I don't need to show it to you I was gonna try but I just 
I can't open it. <laughs> um, I sent it to Andy Does Stuff and she didn't like the smell and so she sent it back because this is like my top favorite primer to be honest. It's so blurring and yeah. I'm currently using one. So yeah. I have this Tarte C Glowation. And it's a skin perfecter. So um, use alone or for a healthy glow. Wear under makeup for an added radiance. This is like a primer slash uh, moisturizer. I have it in my primer section because something like this I would double up with this because I normally use like two primers at a time one for blurring and one for moisturizing I have this Laura speckle hydrate moisturize replenish um, skin perfecting primer I have this no problem prime essence I love this it's tacky and like serum e it's very moisturizing um this would be one that i would double up with this um i i have dry skin i have combination skin so i like have deep pores on the like or larger pores on the outer side of my face and in my t-zone i am dry so i like something like this to mix with that and i love this shit I have this eye lift waterproof primer. This is an oops. I have this eye lift waterproof primer um, from Thrive. This is an eye primer, so I'm actually gonna put this with my eye primers. And we did eye primers on the last video, so yes, that is in the wrong section. I have the Pore Professional Benefit Hydrating Primer. Okay, I have this Truffle Cosmetics Glisten Whip. I don't even know if I'm showing you guys correctly. I'm sorry. And like, for whatever reason, these products just don't like to show very well. So, anyways, this is the truffle cosmetics like i said glisten it's an illuminating primer and serum serum based illuminator so that sounds like something that i would like i have a smashbox photo finish primer and radiance this is a sample and i have used it some and i've had this for many 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 freaking years so i'm just gonna get rid of it because i have opened it and used some of it and it's old as shit I have the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Soothing Primer Moisturizing for Sensitive Skin. This is from First Aid Beauty. And then I have this Pineapple Glow Mist with Hyaluronic Acid. I'm going to put this with my setting sprays. Okay, so there's that one. I have this one. There's not a lot in here. Uh, these are my exfoliators, which I really like exfoliators, and I go through them very quickly, which is why I don't have very many. Um, I have this Tula Skincare So Poreless Deep Exfoliating Blackhead Scrub. I have the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This stuff is um, very... Um, if you have sensitive skin but want to exfoliate, I highly recommend this product. It is expensive, but it is a good product. I have an exfoliant accelerator. This is a mix. Um, it has lactic acid and enzymes to help cell renewal and skin turnover. It's a very, very good um, exfoliator, but if you don't know what you're doing, I don't recommend this. This is a product that I used when I was doing facials on people. And I have this Refining Skin Polish Natural Beauty Inner Calm. And this is an exfoliator as well. 
exfoliating helps speed up your cell regeneration because it makes your body like everybody's as you get older your cell regeneration slows down now if you gently exfoliate it it helps your body know that it needs to regenerate those cells and it speeds up the process so i yeah anyways it also removes dead skin so i have this one this is an avocado retinol sleep mask. I think these are um, moisturizers and sleep masks. Anything that doesn't have to be washed off. I have the Waterfall Glacier Water Cream from Saturday Night Skin. I have gone through one of these. It's an okay product. Um, I don't hate it. Um, it is moisturizing, so yes. I have this Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I love this stuff. I highly, like, I really, really, really do like their skincare, but uh, they're expensive and they're not cruelty free, but my grandma gets them, so I get it sometimes, or was. Anyways, I've gone through several of these. They stink, um, but I do think that these are effective. I have a mini one. If you hear TV, my kids are home right now. I have to take my kid to a dentist appointment, so he is not at school. Um, I have a Good Tones All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. So, yes. I don't think this... Does this have to be washed off? Yeah, no, it does not have to be washed off. Now, this is where I think skincare gets complicated, to be honest. You don't want to do, like, this... And the lactic acid from Dermalogica. You don't want to mix a bunch of lactic acids and ABHs or, you know, BH, BHAs together because it could be damaging and too much for your skin. So just keep that in mind. Um, I have this overnight moisturizer balm, hyaluronic acid, and polyglumac. Glumat, I can't say it. Um, glumatica, whatever, I don't know, acid. Anyways, um, I think, the, yeah, this is from Beauty Bay. I got this, um, free, I believe, <laughs> with purchase. I have this, and this is something Andy does to upset me. Um, I like Freck. I have not tried this product, but I like Freck Freckles, so... This is from Freck, and it's Rich Bitch, which cracks me up, and it is a cactus and vitamin C moisturizer. Um, so, yeah. I have this Hangover Skin Protecting Moisturizer, SPF um, 25. This came from Jennifer Steps, and yeah, I don't know if I should put it in here or... Put it with my primers because it's kind of something I would mix with my primers I think I'm not sure but I'm keeping it here okay I have this um, triple antioxidant face cream from dr. bandit branded whatever his name is I have the grown alchemist matte balancing moisturizer with um, ICU berry and Borgo and I have this Skin Chemist London Youth Serum Green Caviar Caviar Date Moisturizer. Moisturizers go fairly quick in my house as well. Amy uses one um, and I use multiple moisturizers to be honest. So, for night repairs, I kind of bring out one or two of these at a time. Um, like, I might bring out this night repair for at night, but I'll use this moisturizer for the day kind of thing. So, anyways, I actually have two more. I said I only had six containers but we're gonna do my other container as well but here is this one 
Um, this is just my lip products and scrubs. I have this sugar scrub. It takes me forever to go through sugar scrubs, you guys. It really does. I have two coconut sugar scrubs. Um, one came from Andy Does Stuff because she doesn't like the coconut and I do. Um, most of these sugar scrubs came from the Busy Beauty store, or all of them did. This is the um, NCLA Beauty Balm. This is a and peach, and actually, I'm going to take this. I love balms more than ex um, the, sh the scrubs. Scrubs. I find the scrubs uh, complicated, but... I will put this on my desk at work and use this because, yeah, and that smells like a pretty peach. So I'm going to take that with me to work today. And I have these for whitening my tea. And I have three chapsticks. I have more. Um, I have like one in my bag, one on my desk, one at my work desk. Um, I have these all over. Um, I didn't, but... Um, uh, Dion Loves Makeup sent me several and those also came from her so now I have them all over. Thank you Dion for making sure my lips are hydrated. And we're gonna go over this container. Okay this looks scary I know. We're just gonna go over this and see what's in here and I think clean it out because it needs to be cleaned out. Okay so we're gonna start with this scary looking. This is a Dermalogica multivitamin power exfoliator. This stuff I was using when I was doing, you know, facials. This is a very, 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 very high quality exfoliator. It does like burn a little bit. It's almost kind of like a um small-ish, light-ish chemical peel. It's not as good as a chemical peel, like a lactic acid chemical peel that is legit a chemical peel and doing that process, which chemical peels, unless you're going to a doctor's office, are not actually peeling your skin. On contrary of belief, that is not how it works anymore, at least here in Oregon. I don't know what the laws are elsewhere, but the stuff that, uh, person in a spa uses is not going to peel your skin. Um, anyways, I really, really, really like this. I need to use these on myself. This is like a treatment that you do once a week, maybe once every other week, depending on how sensitive your skin is. But I really, really, really do like this product. Um, it's expensive and you should know what you're doing in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I don't, this container, I don't know why it rusted out. Um, I think I had it with a cleanser that leaked and it got rusty. I don't know. I need to find a better way to store it, like get a bag or something. <laughs> okay. So I have this watermelon do all over serum. So this is like just for my skin. It's a lotion. I think that's what's in here mostly. Um, yeah, the, here's a hand cream, FHF, Farmhouse Fresh Fluffy Butter Shea Butter Hand Cream. I have this styling cream. So this is for hair. I have a hair bin. I'm going to put this with my hair stuff. I have this peppermint stick hand cream. I have this age protection control hand cream. I have massage gel cream. Again, this was for facials and stuff that I was doing. Um, I keep it around just in case Amy decides she wants me to give her a facial because sometimes she likes to get the spa treatment at home. Um, I have this living proof dry hair shampoo. I'm going to put this with my hair stuff. I need more dry shampoo to be honest. I have this, which I absolutely fucking love. This is Honeymoon Glow Body Pharmacy, 12% AHA, BHA. This is really good for um, ingrown hairs or I forgot what the term for the condition is called, but if you get like hard keratin bumps 
on your skin um, that is like buildup of, you know, protein or the, the keratin. Um, I think that's what it's called. God, it's been forever since I've been to school. But if you have those bumps, this is really good for it. Um, exfoliating is really good for it, but this is an exfoliator um, as well, just without the, you know, seeds or sand or bumps. This is a chemical exfoliator and it works really well for things like that or if you have like super massive dry patches on your skin that you can't seem to remove or get rid of i really this is a good product i have this tropic glow firming whipped shea butter from tree hut this stuff smells so good um and this is probably the next lotion I'm going to open. Um, I do have lotion open right now. So, yeah. I have these hair clips. And these I'm going to put with my hair bin. And the last thing is this whipped body butter from Copacetic in hot apple pie. Well, it's not 100%, but... Um, It'll do, right? I really don't care that much. So that is part two of my hoarded um, skin care collection, and that is all of it. Yeah, so thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you next time.